I believe in myself and my ability to do my best. I will think, I will listen, I will participate in my set. I will act respectfully, I will show kindness. I will make AJ be the place to be. For this day will not come again. Drop the mic, A. Hey. Here's a little history on Black History Month. Dr. Carter G. Woodson, who was born in 1875 and lived till 1950, was born to parents who were former slaves in Virginia who couldn't read or write. He went to college and earned a PhD from Harvard University. He also studied in Europe. He became a school teacher, principal, and author of many scholarly books about the history and contributions of African Americans to society. He started Black History Week in 1926 in February, near the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, and he started it to celebrate the history and contributions of African Americans. Black History Week eventually became Black History Month and was officially recognized by President Ford in 1976. Here's a few things you could do during Black History Month. You could read a biography of an African American that you aren't familiar with. Some interesting examples would be Ida B. Wells, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, and Frederick Douglass. You can study about the Underground Railroad and learn the paths that slaves took to freedom. You could listen to a recording or watch a video of Martin Luther King Jr. giving a speech on civil rights. You could pick a subject that you're interested in, like art, music, science, business, education, and research the contributions made to that area by African Americans. You could discover the history of African Americans in your state or our community. Good morning, AJB Toros. This is Mrs. Kimple. In honor of Black History Month, we will be featuring a book trailer during our morning announcements every day with books by African American authors, with African American characters, or books about black history. I hope you'll come to the library and check these out. Happy reading. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and sweet ones who hurdled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. This is for the undefeated. This week's Toro Sports News. It's still basketball time. The Lady Toros basketball this week will play Miller Middle School. The eighth grade will play Thursday at Miller at 5.15 p.m. Toro Boys Basketball is also playing Miller Middle School this week. 7th grade is playing Wednesday at home, and 8th grade is playing Thursday at home. The basketball games will now be streamed on Zoom. Good luck, Toros.